What's going on YouTube? Carnage back here again today with a video I'm going to be doing is a top 10, my top 10 horror steelbooks. Now like I said, again, this is just my opinion for, uh, this isn't about the, how much I like the movie, how much I enjoyed watching the movie, but I, the actual top 10 the the appearance of the steelbook how how they how they rank in my collection um, this was really hard to do and this was actually recommended from one of my subscribers on my channel and I really do apologize I can't remember who it was or else I I would have done a shout out for this video and tagged you on this so if you watch this video please let me know if you recently um, left a comment for me to do this video um, I actually thought about this for a while this morning and kind of browsed through my uh, my steelbook collection, and it, it wasn't that that easy to actually because I have quite a few horror steelbooks. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and I and I do have some honorable mentions. Um, I could not leave these four particular steelbooks out, so and I'm probably gonna get some hate on this. And like I said, guys, you know this is my opinion. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get, get started. The first one I have for honorable mention is my Zombie Flesh Eater Steelbook. Um, honestly, I don't know why this didn't make it into my top 10. I guess it's just because it didn't pop into my head for top 10 horror steelbooks. So I decided just to give it an honor, honorable mention. But yeah, this is a great looking one. Really like this. This one is sealed right here. Um, so yeah, that's the zombie flesh eaters next one I have for honorable mention is return of the living dead again a really nice looking steel book but did not make the cut and this one is sealed as well next one is Halloween the 35th anniversary edition And this is one of my all-time favorite horror movies. But this particular edition did not make it into my top 10. But there is um, a Halloween steelbook that did. And you'll see that soon enough. Halloween. And last but not least for the honorable mentions is my Hellraiser 4 steelbook. And this is from the company 84 right here. So these, these particular steelbooks right here are... Uh, Kind of hard to find now, but I really like it because it has the um, the lenticular cover on the front, and you got Pinhead right there, and I like how the eyes are glowing red. I don't like how there's the stupid yellow bird right there. That that kind of uh, messes it up for me a little bit, but I can look past that. But it's a really nice looking still book. Okay, now to get into my top ten. Um, now these are from 10 to, to my number one, and I'm not I'm not going to get into too much detail about the particular steel books or anything like that. I'm just going to kind of go through them. So the first one I have is a it's a German release, and I've had this one for a little while now, and that is a Halloween German edition steel book. Now this one in particular is is uh, it's not that it's that hard to find. But it does require spending a little bit more money to get this one, especially if it's sealed. Now, if it's not sealed and it's in still, you know, it's in pretty decent condition, then you can, you know, relatively get it pretty easily, and for not that high of a price, maybe around 30 to 50 bucks. But if you want one sealed, that is going to require more, probably around 70 to 100 dollars. But this is a nice looking steel book. As you can see, it's all in German. And there's the back right there. And I do have the regular DVD version of this one as well. And the only difference I can see is that this one does come with a, a lot of special features. But, you know, I'm not going to be opening this anyways. This one is, I plan on keeping sealed. But, um, yeah. Really like this movie. Really like this steelbook. That's my number 10 Halloween. Next one is my number 9. And this was one of my... Favorite movies from uh, 2000, I believe this came out in 2014, maybe 2013, 
but it was it was surprising how much I enjoyed this movie when I saw it. You know, there's there's so much crap that comes out today in theaters, especially in the horror genre. Um, and I I mean I didn't think this movie was like awesome. It wasn't like you know like a Shining or the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It was nothing like that. But it, it was still pretty good. And that was the uh, the Conjuring. And I just I love this steelbook right here. I like the detail, the embossing right here of the rope on the on the tree. Um, the title is embossed right there. Really nice looking steel book. Really like the picture of the house in the back right there. And there's the back. The doll, which they made a movie in itself about Annabelle. And in my opinion, I thought that movie was absolute crap. I mean, just oh my god, I couldn't I couldn't wait till it was over. And this one does come with uh, special features. But um, yeah, overall, really good movie. Really like this steel book. So that's my number nine. And my number eight, I had to get a uh, an Arrow video release into my top ten steel books. I kind of went through all of them, and which one popped out the most for me? And that is Dario Argento's Tenebrae. I just love the image, the quality of it, the hair, the color, the blood. It's just, everything is is so much such a great image the detail the title you know how it, uh, it's kind of gold gold tint right there um, just when I first got this one it was it was just such a nice looking steel book and I really enjoyed this movie as well as you all know tons of special features so that is my number eight Tenembre and for my number seven is another Arrow video release and I was kind of um, having having a little bit of a struggle with, with, with picking two two different editions whether or not to go with the Arrow video release or with the Synapse. Um, now I actually already included two editions for one title so what I mean by that is I, I chose two still books that are the same movie because I couldn't choose between the two and I didn't want to do that twice so I hope that made sense. So I went with the Arrow video release of Demons and Demons 2. Now I do have the, the Snaps releases of Demons 1 and 2, and those are both very nice looking steelbooks, but I went with this one since it already has 1 and 2, and I really I, I like the picture on the front right there, and that's Demons. And unfortunately I can't show you Demons 2, the picture, because, well, I, actually I kind of can. You can see it right there. But I, I still have it sealed and have the little card on the back right there. But um, yeah, I love love these movies right here, both Demons one and two. I, I I like Demons, the first one more than the second. But yeah, this is a really nice looking steel book, and really like that picture right there. So that is my uh, my number seven. And let's see, for my number six, it's going to be a UK release. And this is one of my favorite classic horror movies right here. Um, absolutely hated the remake, but I love the original. And that is, of course, uh, The Omen. And I do have another release of this, this steelbook right here. It was the U.S. release, but it's in a, uh, it's a DVD, DVD size steelbook. And I don't like it nearly as much as this one. This one is just awesome looking. I really like when they have the, the, um, the slipcase and it blends in with the actual steelbook so it kind of just all flushes nice together um, of course you know the age rating right there from the UK 18 and that's Damien right there in the cemetery and the titles embossed right there but it's just great great looking steelbook love it love the title the, the 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 context of the letters everything is just great about this one and on the back right there really nice nice image the priest and I just love the red the red is such a nice blood evil looking demonish red yeah really nice looking so that is my number six okay now we're gonna get into my top five for my horror horse steel books this was really hard to do um, honestly, any one of these could be my number one just because I like all these so much. So 
it's it's really not so much you know five to number one but just the ones that I really like the most out of my horror steel books so I just went ahead and put number five as the this is the play.com exclusive of John Carpenter's the thing um, this this particular edition right here is is pretty hard to come by now especially if you want to get get it still sealed and I've heard a lot of people mention when they show this edition of the steelbook and their YouTube videos about this this picture right here and how it's completely irrelevant to the um, to the actual movie because you know if you've seen the movie the um, the thing or the the monster the creature in the movie it was never green so and, and I think that's kind of adds to the the um, you know the quality of the steelbook and the and the uh, you know the the collecting edition of it so it's really nice looking this one is still sealed there's the back right there it does come with special features and I, I love this movie I love just everything about it the actors the atmosphere the music um, the actual monster I, I hated the um, it wasn't a remake it was it was a reboot so it was it was a prequel to this movie right here with the um, I forget what they were, if they were uh, uh, Swedes or something like that, and then it shows you know, what, what happened with that and, and, and what led up to this movie actually happening, but I thought it was absolute crap, I couldn't stand it, it was just a horrible movie in my opinion, um, but this awesome classic movie right here, so that's my number five, The Thing, and my number four is going to go to a pretty recent one right here. A lot of mixed opinions on this. I, I enjoyed this movie a lot. I thought it was a new fresh breath for horror. And that is the um, the uncut version of The Woman. And this is really nice looking steelbook right here. There's the back. I hate when they put the, the writing on the back like that. But I really like this image right here in the front. It's really nice looking. Um, this this particular edition right here, I actually um, I have opened. I bought this open because I I planned on the, on watching it, so I didn't bother getting it brand new and sealed. You see Cape Light, and this is the Blu-ray. And there's the inside right there, and it's got a nice image of the uh, of the woman. Just got her face right there on the left, and on the right it's just black. But nice disc artwork as well, just like on the uh, on the front cover. But yeah, really nice, nice looking image right here on this particular still book. So that's my number four. Okay, and now I'm getting into the one I, I was referring to a little while ago about I, how I chose two different versions of the same movie, and that is one of my favorite horror movies of all time. I have the uh, the UK release and also the German release, and that is for The Shining. I couldn't choose between the two. I, I, I love both. I like what, what the door, this is embossed right here, the door is, and then also the title. There's no embossing on, on this German release right here, but I really like the picture of Jack Nicholson. When he, you know, his famous line, here's Johnny. And, he, you know, he's after his family, breaks down the door with the axe. There's just a great scene. And you guys all know Stanley Kubrick. He's one of my um, favorite directors of all time. I just, and, there, and there's so much meaning besides just the, the horror aspect of this movie. You know, if, if you've actually seen the documentary, that um, shows the insight for The Shining and, and, and what more what it was even about, you know, with the the Indian burial ground and and, and all that stuff and how a, a lot of the stuff was referencing to, you know, what what the um, the white settlers did to the actual Indians themselves and it was just really interesting. I believe it was called um, Inside Two Four Seven, Inside Room Two Four Seven or, or something like that. Um, but yeah, these, these two right here, I, I really like these steel books. There's the back right there, and the shiny German release. 
They're pretty much the same, actually. Both have special features. So yeah, that is my uh, number three. Okay, and for my number two, I chose the Human Centipede. Um, I really like this steelbook just for the fact that it's a four disc special edition and it has um, the Human Centipede one first sequence and number two full sequence which was in my opinion and a lot of other pe people's opinion uh, number two was what number one should have been. Now I, I, when I say that I, I don't mean that I disliked number one I just felt number two was, just, it was so freaking brutal. And I, and I love that. That that was that's my type of gore, disturbing movie. This movie was it, number two. Um, but yeah, I love this edition right here. I still have this one sealed up. I already have uh, Human Centipede one and two already on Blu-ray. Um, it comes with special features for this. But yeah, this is my number two right here. This is the uh, the UK release, the Human Centipede. And my number one, like I said, guys, you know, any, any one of my top five could be my number one, but I just went ahead and went with the Hellraiser one through three. Um, I love the first three Hellraisers. I, I think they're just awesome, especially the first one. Um, it, it's just so dark and evil and demonic. And and it, it just, when I first saw it, I was just like, wow. Like, it, it, it really... It, it honestly felt like something was in the room when I was watching it because it, ju it, it just feels like one of those movies like, should I be watching this? You know, like something might actually happen just for me watching this kind of movie. You know what I mean? With the cube and Pinhead and, and his, uh, you know, demonic um, partners or whatever you want to call him. Um, but yeah, everything about this, this particular steelbook right here I think is just awesome with the hooks, with the, with the flesh peeled back. You know, the three it looks 3D, but it's not. And there's the back right there, all the the features that come with it right here. So that is it, guys. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video um, for my, my top 10 horror steelbooks. Um, and if you guys have, you know, uh, horror steelbooks in your collection, you know, please make a video. You know, like like Todd, um, I would love to see your top 10 horror Blu-ray steelbooks if you happen to watch this video. And uh, that's it, guys. Until the next video, I hope everyone's doing well out there. I'll see you guys soon.